Today on Zoom, lots of kids want to know what it's like to be on Zoom. And we thought today would be a good day to talk about it. I'm going to go right here. Okay, that's where I just open it. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go right over here. Good spot. We've decided to make some water filters of our own using napkins, gravel, sand, and cotton balls. Okay, we should use these for something. Zim is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's Investment in the Future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contribution to your PBS station from viewers like you. from another Zoom cast. Jared, Lanise, Pablo, David, and Keiko. Hi guys, welcome back. Hi hey, Carolyn. Hey, 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 hey. Dear Zoom, here is a game. What you need is a cup filled with water, a paper napkin, sharpened pencils, a penny, and a rubber band. Open the napkin and put it over the cup. Put the rubber band around the rim of the cup over the napkin. Put the penny in the middle of the napkin. Players take turns poking a hole in the napkin with the pencil. The people who don't make the penny fall are the winners. Good luck, Lisa D, Warren, Rhode Island. All right. Okay, so take your pencil. You go first. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, right. well, why don't you go first? So. Long. <laughs> Not that long. So far. Oh my. Just being extra careful. Uh oh, it's getting scary. Oh. I'm gonna go right here. Okay, that's where I just go. Well. Okay, I'm gonna go right over here. Good spot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's great. She's going near the pain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, uh oh, oh. She's like the bravest one out of all of us. <gasps> I can never do that. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh. You know what I'm Oh, that's not. No, how about right over here? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. The beginning goes like Swiss cheese. Oh, well, no, it already does look like Swiss cheese. Pablo, it's all key to make it fun. Only oh, holding up on this side of the thing. Right there. I should just go right there, but I'm not. I should just do it. I know, I know. Like, you should just go right there. just do it. <laughs> oh, my, my. Oh, guess not. <laughs> oh, what is the napkin? <laughs> We can like be here like for 10 hours or something. Oh, move the penny? No. Nobody say anything. Okay. <laughs> I won't. 
Yeah, I think it's strong because there's there's like a lot of bees attaching to it. Yeah. But this part won't break. And if you knock yeah, one down, then... Oh no. Oh, good. It didn't break anyway. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> that is so hard. The risk taker. <laughs> she met her match. She did a good job. Good job. Good job. Here we go. Good job. Okay. There we go. Ooh, good job. There we go. Okay. Okay, Pablo. Go ahead. Slide me five. When I bought my cat at your pet shop, you said it was good for mice. Yes, I did. It doesn't even go near them. Well, isn't that good for mice? This is a dream catcher. Native American tradition says that if you hang it above your bed, it will catch the good dreams and let the bad ones go through the holes. Becky R. of Jackson, New Jersey, emailed us the directions to make one like this. You can make it from things you find around your house. I'm going to do this with Keiko. Okay, here's what you'll need. Paper plates, which are the main part of the dream catcher, Yarn to make the web that will catch all the good dreams, a single hole punch, and beads, feathers, and markers for decoration. Here's what you do. Cut out the center of the paper plate so you have about two inches of the rim left over. Punch holes a half inch to an inch apart around the rim of the plate. Take your yarn about two arm lengths and tie it to one of the holes. Here's your yarn. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll take this one. Okay, cool. Okay. Alrighty. And she'll tie it to one of the holes. Okay. Might want to lick it if it doesn't go through. <laughs> Should I tie it so that the knot's on the back? Yeah, so you can't see it. Alright. No, nope, it's done. Start weaving it from one hole to the next. Like, do it across. Okay. See? You can add a few beads to the middle of the dream catcher by slipping them onto the yarn as you weave it in and out of the hole. A yarn ball in my mouth. <laughs> it was weird. Tie a knot at the end of the yarn, but you don't really want to make it visible. Uh, so you can make it visible, but you want mate. You might want to tie it on the back. I'm gonna cut off the. Oh, that was nice. Punch three more holes at the bottom of your dream catch-up and tie about five inches of yarn each of them. Thread beads onto the yarn. Okay. And when you're done with that, pass the other two yarn. This is what we've done so far. Punch a hole at the top of your dream catcher and put a piece of string through it so you can tie it. And then you can hang it like that. And then use markers to decorate it. And there's your dream catcher. Cool. Hang it over your bed to scare away all your nightmares. Sweet dreams. <laughs> email from Javon J. of Green, Maine, and Kara S. of Maple Plain, Minnesota. They told us about water filters they made using napkins, gravel, sand, and cotton balls. 
We thought this was really cool and decided to make some water filters of our own that could filter some dirty water that we made. This water has dirt, cooking oil, food coloring, pieces of paper, and tiny styrofoam pieces. All right, let's try it. Ready? Ready. All right, what should we do first? I think that this little piece in here, uh -huh, we can put something over this. So, let's just put a couple of those in there. What do you think the other one? The water will kind of absorb it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On its way down. Okay, we should use these for something. Yeah, maybe if we put it on top of that, it would like hold some of the big junk, and then that would absorb like the food coloring and the cooking oil. Okay. All right, so let's dump a whole bunch in there. We push the napkin all the way down, then we can put the rocks in. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I can see the wall. Uh-oh. What do you think that is? It looks like dirt and food coloring. Green, yeah, the food coloring. I'll hold it. You pour. Oh, it's kind of working. Well, it's getting greenish. Well, maybe it's from the table. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's greenish. Mm -hmm. So that, it worked pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. It caught the, the gravel got the dirt and the ripped up paper. And that looked like it got a lot of the um, other stuff. So water. Yuck. Yeah. All right. All right, let's wash this out, too, because it'll get more mucked up, but still, it may help a lot. my ears when I go. <laughs> then don't do that. I got it. Look it. The cotton balls are really green, right? So they must be catching the greenness. And the, the napkin's really brown, right? If we put extra cotton balls, like a big, a lot, um, I mean, a lot of cotton balls, then how much water will we get in there? Right, like that. All right, and then we put a napkin on top. And then we put some rocks. Okay. okay. But we make, yeah, like there. Yeah. All righty. How about we clog it with napkins? Yeah, that, they'll try it the opposite yeah. way, because it'll probably work the same. Maybe a little better. Napkins are really tight. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. All right. Here it is, the big moment. Look, you can see like, oh yeah, yeah. You can see all the green catching up with it because it soaks it all up. Hold on, wait. No, let's just gonna. There we go. All right. So, no, maybe we put too much like cotton balls. You think? <laughs> what if we put like two? Oh, it's, yes. 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 You got it? Yeah. How in the oh, world did man. you do it? Oh, it's crystal clear. Nice. <laughs> that is awesome. Wait, let me see. Come here, look at the water. Oh. Pour some wine. How'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> It's a miracle. What color is that? Oh. It's green. Yeah. It was, oh, but it was... Wait, lift it up. Maybe it's the tray. Maybe you're looking through the, um... No. no. It's, well, hold on. Is it green? Yeah, it's still green. What if we add another napkin? Or take the bottom one out. If we put layers, put a napkin, then put sand, then yeah. put cotton balls, then napkin, sand, then... All right, here we go. Two in this thing. Right? You gonna clog it up with two? Yeah, do, didn't you want to try that? Oh, this is gonna do it. I bet. Well, there's already some green water in there, so we'll just watch the drop to see if it comes out clear. Nope. Okay, come on. It's really dark, but the last napkin is zipping that last napkin now. It's starting to get wet. Yeah, that's clear. Mm-hmm. It has a slight tint of blue, but it's fine with me. Let's just use a napkin. Just a napkin? Just a napkin. Like, All right, so let's see what got rid of what in this. All right, so the top layer took the dirt and shredded paper, it looks like, right? Mm-hmm. The middle layer is holding a lot of water. Yeah, look, I... 
Let's see. That's because it's, it's, the, that's cause it's yeah. the cotton ball. Jared? Uh, yeah. Could oh. could you work on that your magic powers or something? Because like, we like um the liquidy materials like okay. the cooking oil and then the last two napkins just got rid of more of the food coloring. Mm -hmm. Because the cooking oil is thicker, so it would stay at the top. All the way. All right. With our water filter, David and I were able to use napkins, cotton balls, and gravel to get the oil, dirt, and paper out of the water. But it was really tough to get all the green food coloring out. Maybe if we had stuffed a lot of napkins into the neck of the bottle, like Jared and Claudio did, it would have been so tight that the cotton could have filtered out more of the green food coloring. Try this at home and see if you can get your water really clear. I want my money back. Why? What happened? I bought a bag of bird seed here and it didn't work. Didn't the birds eat it? What birds? I planted every single seed in that bag and not a single bird came up. <sighs> Kids want to know what it's like to be on Zoom, and we thought today would be a good day to talk about it. I remember we we all like I met a few of you at the auditions, and then when we were picked, we went to um, this outdoor adventure adventure program we called the Camp Zoom, and we like did rope activities and everything to meet each other, and we had to do challenges and we played games and we like and we made our own food and stuff and mm -hmm. just like brought us closer together. I think the first time we were all together, everyone clicked. It was really mm -hmm. fun. Everyone got to know each other, so it was like we knew each other for a long time yeah. before yeah. we even really knew each other. Yeah, the <laughs> first time that we ever met, I was so excited. I was, but I was also sort of nervous. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm finally going to meet the people I'm going to spend like so much time with. Then I was like, oh my gosh, I hope they like me. I really hope that they like me. <laughs> yeah, we were in this room and we all sat on this table and we introduced ourselves yep. and I was just like looking around to see like, I hope they like me. I hope they don't like me. Oh my gosh, it's going to be like so bad. But then like 10 minutes, we all like right. were talking. After we clicked, I was like, oh wow, I made friends. This is going to be a fun summer. But at the end of the summer, I could not believe how close we all got. Mm -hmm. um, the whole cast was like a family. And I mean, I've only known you guys for like, I've met you a couple times, but today is the only time I've got to know the new cast. Yeah. And I, like, feel you guys are as good friends as these guys. Mm -hmm. It's weird. <laughs> and it's all right. <laughs> I think the show is based on friendship, isn't it? That's what the show's about, you know, making friends and having friendships and being with people, you know? I think Zoom is a really big, like, thing in my life, and I am so happy that I'm on it. I'm so, like, young, and I already have this big thing to look back on and be like, wow, that was so cool. <laughs> I know. I still don't believe I'm actually on a TV show. It kind of feels like... Either. Yeah, I know. It kind of feels like if you... It feels like it's just something that you're going through, and yeah. eventually it's over, and then that's the end. And then it's like you realize it's not. There's, yeah. like, more to yeah, it. And, it like, you don't forget it, and it's, like, still part of you even after it's over. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I forget. Yeah. I was like, you, come on now. Mm -hmm. Like, because I'll be on the street, you know, just be like, yeah. And people would stare at me. Sometimes I forget, and I think they're just looking like, to be rude. And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, do you forget? And I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah. There's a show. Before, I, I was really shy, and whenever somebody would say hi to me, I would say hi. And I wouldn't say anything back, but now I can start talking to them and not be really shy and just... Put my feelings out and say what I want to say. <laughs> Before Zoom, I considered myself, like, part of the team, you know? But now, I mean, all seven of us of the first cast, I felt like we were all leaders. Even though no one was um, above the other person, we all had some leadership qualities, and we would help each other out in science or games. Mm -hmm. And, like, we would never put each other down, and I really mm. like that.
I've come to buy a car. I can't remember its name, but it starts with T. Uh, sorry. None of our cars start with T. All of ours use gasoline. This relay race was sent to us from Kristen and Taylor H. of Pewaukee, Wisconsin. We thought it would be fun to play today. Because it was one of our favorite Zoom games. Let's play.
because of every one of you. Who? You. Feed us. A recipe. Teach us. Biology. How to jump. Show the trick. A riddle or some poetry. So if you want to be it, coming out of your TV, type it up, write it down, and ship it out to Zoom. Copy mail. Send it to Zoom. Or Zoom. Because you call this Zoom. If you got a video, give it up. We'll put it on the show. A super thing is B-double-O-M. You will be seeing a bomb on the screen. Write your name and your address. And do what? Take a wild guess. Email. Send it out to them. Or email. You call the two. Email. Send it to Zoom. To who? Triple W dot TBS dot org. Email. Go to who? To Zoom. Z double O M five three five O. Watch and ask. Submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, and materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Show because we've invited back kids from another Zoom cast. Hi, Jared. Lindy. <laughs> I wanted to laugh. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's Investment in the Future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. A production of WGBH Boston.